Do you guys want to be getting supply drops just like this? Then follow today's tutorial and why not click that subscribe button if you are new around here to stay up to date with more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. But guys with that said let's jump into today's video and welcome back. In today's video what I'm going to be going over is how you can actually earn supply drops really easy and pretty fast within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is what I have actually found out myself when playing Search and Destroy and this is a way that you guys can actually get supply drops very fast as well so if you do enjoy the video in any moment in time drop a like down below as it does help my channel out tremendously and we'll get this video out to a wider range of audience but if you do enjoy the video also share it with a friend you know it might help him out as well but other than that what you are actually going to need to do to get a supply drop you are actually going to need to go within a search and destroy game mode now there is a 1 in 5 chance that you will be getting a supply drop in every game but what I have found out from my own personal experience if you go into a search and destroy game and with a friend or it can be on your own it really does not matter but once you go into a search and destroy game when it is zero out of zero rounds and you just spawn in for the first time within that game what you want to do is just run as fast as you can into the enemy spawn now once you are in the enemy spawn you just want to be one of the first people to die now this may sound a bit stupid but um, if you die and you are the first person to die within a search and destroy game Sledgehammer have made a system so if you die it's most likely going to be meaning that you are a player who doesn't actually get a lot of kills within search and destroy um, this is why they have implemented this system but if you do die straight away um, you will of course get one death and you will also get a supply drop which will actually help you out a lot and this is why they have actually implemented it because the people who are not too good at the game usually die on the first round or so and uh, supply drops are just going to help them rank up of course you're going to get these new items you're going to get these more powerful weapons and to be honest it just helps the players overall and of course if you do this yourself what you can now do is just go in the first round of the game you can just go out and just die straight away and if you're a good player you can then bring that death back you'll end up going 5 and 1 or 10 and 1 or even 20 and 1 it really does depend but that first death doesn't really make a difference as you are going to be getting a supply drop as a reward it does sound kind of stupid but if you do give it a go i'm pretty sure you guys will get a supply drop on the first time but guys with that said i do hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you guys have a great day and until next time i am out